Bring you a three-minute digest of what happened in China's business sector. This is China Business Now by 21st Century Business Herald. Hi everyone, I'm Stephanie Lee. Today's top stories: China on Thursday unveiled new rules on the management of price indexes for key commodities and services as part of its ongoing effort to curb unreasonable price swings and maintain stable prices in the commodity market. The new rules, which will take effect from August the first, will standardize behavior such as price index compilation, as well as information transparency and disclosure, according to the National Development and Reform Commission, the nation's top economic regulator. Shandong's provincial education authorities have banned all forms of school-organized tutorial classes or e-learning during the upcoming summer holidays of primary and secondary school students. The three Chinese astronauts on board the Shenzhou 12 spaceship entered the country's space station core module Tianhe on Thursday, signifying that for the first time the Chinese have entered their own space station. Update on COVID-19. The Chinese mainland on Thursday reported one new locally transmitted COVID-19 cases in Foshan, Guangdong Province. 22 imported cases were also reported. Guangzhou reported zero new local cases yesterday as it reopened more lockdown areas. However, the city's CDC official warned that people should continue to keep social distancing and avoid visiting friends and relatives. CPC leads a century's progress. On October 15, 2003, China carried out its first manned space flight, sending Yang Liwei on a 21-hour journey around the mother planet in the Shenzhou 5 spacecraft. Since then, China has conducted six manned space flights, which totaled 68 days and orbited Earth 1,089 times, while 11 Chinese astronauts have traveled more than 46 million kilometers in space and conducted more than 100 experiments. On Thursday, China successfully launched the crew spacecraft Shenzhou 12 with three astronauts on board, which is the seventh manned space flight conducted. Moving on with industry news, according to a memo, TikTok's owner ByteDance told its employees on Thursday that its revenue doubled to 34.3 billion US dollars last year. ByteDance said its total revenue grew 111 percent from a year ago, while gross profits rose 93 percent to 19 billion US dollars. Switching gears to the financial sector. China's non-financial outbound direct investment went down 5.3% year-on-year in the first five months of this year, amounting to 280.62 billion yuan, according to the Ministry of Commerce. China's bubble tea chain Nayuki launched its Hong Kong IPO this morning, with shares set to start trading on June the 30th. The company is seeking to raise as much as 5.09 billion Hong Kong dollars in a Hong Kong IPO. Nike is offering 257.3 million shares at 17.2 to 19.8 Hong Kong dollars a share. Wrapping up with a quick look at the stock market. Chinese stock finished lower Friday with the benchmark Shanghai Composite Index down 0.01% at 3,525 points. The Shenzhen Component Index closed 0.77% lower at 14,583 points. Shares related to 3G semiconductors, lithium battery and cars went strong, while stocks related to Huawei's Harmony OS and Huawei Miling led the losses. And that's it for today. Tune in next Monday on China Business Now by 21st Century Business Herald. Goodbye.